Some local students have a chance to be more engaged with Shakespeare thanks to a partnership with a local theater group to tell us about the performances and the collaboration with schools is the artistic director of the Bay Colony Shakespeare Company, Ross McDonald. Uh, thank you very much for being with us, Ross. Thank you very much for seeing me. Uh, when I was in high school, uh, certainly, uh, we had to do Shakespeare, but that meant, you know, opening up a book and just reading along and plotting your way through it. Uh, but this is a completely different experience we're talking about here. It is, it is. And it, it definitely changed my life as a student because like you, um, the, my first experience with Shakespeare was from a book. And then I had the, I was very fortunate to go and see the Royal Shakespeare Company and also have um, the likes of Alan Cumming come to our school and perform uh, not a Shakespeare, Death and Anarchist. And, and it really, for me, opened myself up to learning in a different way. And, it, and it's, Although I went into theatre arts professionally, for many students it still helps them expand their horizons as scholars and to see beyond just an academic environment. Well, well the, the, the current repertoire includes Macbeth and Twelfth Night, and uh, I guess instead of just having the students come in cold and watch, uh, you, you're getting them tuned in. Yeah, um, we're also giving them, we send out to the schools before we go in a study guide, so they really give us, uh, the teachers a chance to see how we're approaching the text. Um, with director's notes and our own background information. We really try and also, we also, after we leave, we actually give them a program of what they can do with the students after we've left. So it's kind of, we give them a chance to have more of an interactive education experience after we've left as well, um, after we've left doing the show. So, uh, what about some of the recent performances you, you've been at? How, how did they go over? We just went on, this, we just started tour last week. We went to Brighton High School last week with Macbeth, and then this week, we were at St. John Paul II in the Ponce at Dorchester doing Macbeth on Tuesday and Twelfth Night yesterday. Um, and uh, to see the younger students were so much more involved. You know, they're not quite so callous as more older teenagers who have to kind of not show any emotion. But afterwards, even the high schoolers get very involved with the talkbacks and asking great questions. And you know that they're getting something out of it. But to see the middle schoolers as well, really the first time seeing a play and to get so overwhelmingly interested in, in the experience. Well, well, I had to read Macbeth when I was in high school, and I came back to it uh, years later when I'd been working as a reporter, and I couldn't miss the connections between that play and what we call the cycle of violence. Did any of the kids pick up on that, you think? Yeah, and, and being, I'm, I'm a veteran myself of Afghanistan, so it's one of those things as a director that I really feel very strongly about bringing into the play, that it is in a world of violence. And I think, sadly, students do get that straight off the bat. I mean, we, we don't hide away from it um, and we shouldn't shy away from it. Um, and for some of the students, it's always my concern, especially when we go to schools that have a much more um, inner city environment, their experiences, we've got to kind of honor and respect and not patronize or kind of simplify it. Um, and it's one of the hardest things I, I always find as a director of how to approach that. We're, we're talking with Ross McDonald from the Bay Colony Shakespeare Company. Uh, well, you've got to keep this all going somehow, and I guess you've got a capital campaign in the works. We, we do. Uh, we're, we're very fortunate with um, some corporate sponsorship, but at the moment we are launching a capital campaign. It's a uh, text at the moment, BCSCPIE, P -I -E, at uh, 71777. So that's BCSCPIE. <laughs> 71777 and for more information you can always go to our website www.baycolonyshakespeare.org and what about some of the plans for some of the upcoming performances because you got some things for this year and next year yeah we, we were actually the tour begins in october and it goes all the way to june next year with uh obviously at the moment macbeth and twelfth night and then in the new year hamlet joins the repertory and then also we we're doing a production called the adventures of bottom which is an abridged version of midsummer night's dream that really follows the actor bottom and his experiences in that particular production which is really game again targeted at younger audiences because my dream is as the artistic director is that we really cater for students from like seven years old all the way to 24 and again with our main stage to really go out so we really are a theater company for all communities and for all ages and I have a daughter who's six so I'm desperate for her to see something that I do so. How, how do you think people feel in the cast to, to be performing in front of these audiences? They get a great deal out of it. They grow as actors they also have a chance to really interact with society and to interact with these children and see these students engaged. I, yesterday it was really touching when the actors were packing up the set and the costumes 
all the children ran around them and they all wanted their autographs and they wanted to ask them questions and they wanted to speak to their favorite actor and every actor had a chance to talk to five or six students and it really it really does have a profound effect on these students and it really I genuinely believe had a profound effect on all our actors that they finally saw after six weeks hard work of rehearsals of having the chance for students to just go this is amazing we should mention people would like to find out some more about what's going on. You've got a website? Yes, it's www.baycolonyshakespeare.org. And we also have a Facebook page under the Bay Colony Shakespeare Company. Thank you very much for being with us. Ross McDonald from Bay Colony Shakespeare Company will have more news in just a moment.